are in the words that I write in my song, in my longing for justice, in my fight, and in my peace. Guten Abend, bonjour, bonjour, hello, welcome wherever you are in the world to this global memorial service for those who have died due to COVID-19. This is our fourth global memorial service on this day and as we have gone and traveled across the world, we have added to our memorial uh, memorial wall of those who we remember who have died. So thank you for joining us at this time. This memorial service will be read by, uh, led by Reverend Elder Ines Paul Bauman and we are joined by people already I see from Italy, Portugal, USA, Scotland, Germany. Um, we are truly a global denomination so thank you for all that each of you are doing to bring hope and light at this difficult time. Depending on what device you're using, you may be able to see a huge variety of screens, so let me just explain what you can see in front of you. To the left-hand side, you can see the PowerPoint, and that's where you'll be able to follow the service. Uh, you'll see the screens of the participants in the service as well, and they will get introduced as we go along. We have two boxes. One is where you can uh, write the names of anyone that uh, you didn't have the opportunity to put forward if they have died due to COVID-19, and you would like them to be added to the memorial wall. If you haven't uh, sent in their name already, then please type their name and their country in there and they their names will be added to the memorial wall uh, for the next service. So the, the next service, which will be in Brazilian time, will have their names included on it too. So thank you for doing that. You see the comments only box is for you to send greetings, to let us know that you are with us. It's wonderful to see how many people are joining these different memorial services and the many different countries where MCC is uh, present and so we know that this is a global pandemic. We are a global movement, uh, a worldwide fellowship and this is our opportunity to hold hands around the globe together. So um, it's a wonderful opportunity for us to join together to give thanks to those who have served in so many ways, medical services, funeral services, care, those who serve us in shops and keep us safe in other ways. It's an opportunity for us to lament the things that we have lost in our own lives and to honor and grieve those that we have lost and those around the world who names, whose names we don't know but we hold in our prayers at this time. So I invite you just to settle yourself, to feel uh, comfortable, to know that you are in a sacred space. We'll be lighting a candle later, so if you would like to have one to hand, you're very welcome. Don't worry if you don't have one. So uh, let us pray. God of many names, God of all countries, all languages, God whose love is without borders. You are present to us always and yet sometimes we need to open ourselves to feel your presence. So we call on you now 
that we around the globe may each feel fully your presence with us, may feel your spirit fully in and through us. You know who of us is grieving deeply. You know who of us needs healing on some level, needs comfort. You know what we have lost and what we have gained in this time. Let us feel your spirit. Let us feel hope. Let us feel that although we may, are, may be sitting in spaces far apart, that we are joined together in the name of Christ, that we are united in our love for you and our service to one another. Bless us in this time now that we may mourn, that we may grieve, that we may honour those we have lost, and that we may draw closer to you in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The reading that you see is the reading that we're having in every service around the world, and it has been read in different languages. And tonight it's being read in Finnish by Talia from Water of Life MCC Helsinki in Finland. And uh, this is a video as Talia couldn't be with us just now. Thank you, Mike. Johanneksen evankelimi 14. luku ensimmäisestä neljänteen. Älköön sydämenne olko levoton. Uskokaa Jumalaan ja uskokaa minuun. Minun isäni kodissa on monta huonetta. Enhän minä muuten sanoisi, että menen valmistamaan teille asuinsijan. Minä menen valmistamaan teille sijaa, mutta tulen sitten takaisin ja noudan teidät luokseni, jotta saisitte olla siellä, missä minä olen. Te tiedätte kyllä, tien sinne minne minä menen. La prima candela rappresenta il nostro dolore. La sofferenza per avervi perso è molto forte. Questa seconda candela rappresenta il coraggio per affrontare il nostro dolore e per darci conforto a vicenda. Accendiamo una terza candela in vostro ricordo. Per tutte quelle volte che abbiamo riso insieme, che abbiamo pianto, che ci siamo arrabbiati, per le sciocchezze che avete fatto e per la gioia e la cura che ci avete donato. La quarta candela l'accendiamo per l'amore vivo tra di noi. Proviamo gratitudine per il dono del vostro amore. E anche noi vi amiamo e ricordiamo con affetto.
God's house has many rooms. Today, we also meet from many rooms. We are gathered now at many different places, in many rooms. Right now, this also is God's house. In God, we are connected, not only across time and place, as if it would not matter where we are right now. It does matter. The place we live makes so many differences. The coronavirus might not know borders and nations, but the way it affects us does know borders and nations. And you can realize this if you look at numbers. In Europe, we have seven, 750 million people population. Over two, almost two and a half million of them are known cases, reported cases. We have almost 200,000 deaths recorded. And if you look at the detail, there's a big range. Like for example, Belgium, the United Kingdom, Spain and Italy have very high numbers of deaths per population, whereas in Finland and Liechtenstein, it's only just a few. So it, the places we live really do matter. The virus does not discriminate, but as humans we do. This is the words from our moderator, Reverend Elder Cecilia, this morning in one of the first services we had. Our access to health care, to clean water, to safe spaces is a matter of where we live. Europe is a place of many rooms, many nations, many languages, many systems. This is the first time in, European, in, the, in the European Union's short history that closed borders did not mean to keep people out or in depending on their place of birth. People were kept out or in depending on their place of being. As the borders were closed due to the coronavirus, it did not matter where you came from. The only place that mattered was where you were at that time. So the, the nations during corona lockdown included everyone who was there at that time. But still, we are divided. Not only across borders, even within our neighborhoods. Social distancing became the rule rather than distant socializing. Play safe is no longer a matter of sexual encounters only. The same questions that we used to ask in very special moments of trust, intimacy and responsibility are now an issue for everyone in every encounter, in every space. God's house has many rooms, but these rooms are not divided by walls that separate us from each other. In God's house, we shall find safe spaces, a place to feel at home, but not because of borders and walls and division. In God's house, we also find connection, room for ourselves and room for each other, room for being with each other and room for being ourselves, room for seeing, acknowledging and respecting each other, and also for seeing, acknowledging and respecting ourselves. Everything we are and everything we bring is welcome. Just as at the open table that MCCs prepare at so many places around the global world. With every open table, with every open communion, we proclaim and experience Jesus Christ prepares a place for us for all of us and for everything in us, for our diverse bodies, for our diverse theologies, our diverse genders, our diverse sexualities, our diverse spiritualities. Jesus Christ prepares a place for you. Jesus Christ prepares a place for us with all our grief and our hope or mourning 
and our joy. Our despair, anxiety, burdens, and our power, our vision, our energy. Driven by love is both when we grieve and when we rejoice. In the last weeks we have seen many signs of love. We have seen a huge amount of suffering and loss and a huge amount of people who do find ways of caring, of being with those who need food or a smile or a hug, of being with those who are ill and are dying. Now let's take a moment of break. Let's pause for a moment. If you have a candle, I invite you to take your candle and to lit your candle now. And looking at your candle, try to look at yourself, at your feelings. Look at each other, those around you and with you. Look at those you miss, those you cannot meet at the moment and those you have lost. And look at what you keep from their lives, for the lives that are still alive and to be lived. During this moment, we hear the third piece of music. Let us pray. God of love, to your love and care we give all those who have passed from this earth due to the virus. We ask that you welcome them with love and light and, do, and that you let their souls breathe again in your loving presence. You have given them out of our hands our loving and caring hands too into your hands. You have often not been able to see them in their final moments here, but we trust that you have never left them out of your sight here 
and in eternity. God of infinite mercy, in your mercy we give all those who grieve the loss of loved ones, grandparent, parent, partner, child, friend, significant other. We ask that you surround them with angels of light and with people of care, with acts of kindness. Let them keep the love given. Let them forgive where love was missed. Let them remember the good. Und so nimm Erde den Leib, erwarte Himmel den Menschen, behalte mein Herz, was gut war und schön. So take earth, the body only. Expect, accept, expect heaven, spirit and soul, and keep my heart, the beautiful and the good. God of strength, God of commitment, God of faithfulness. And we pray for those who remain here on earth, for the grieving. Pray for the caretaker, for those providing services in these times, and for those with political responsibility. And we pray for us all struggling. Give us strength to care for each other in times of need. As we ask, in your many names. Amen. We came together from the diversity of our grieving to gather in the warmth of this community, giving stubborn witness to our belief that in times of suffering there always will be love. May we hold fast to the conviction that what we do with our lives matters and that a caring world is possible after all. May the love which is stronger than death and which binds us together in the unity of life energize our spirits with divine stillness now and forever. So segne euch, Gott Vater, Sohn, und Heiliger Geist. Amen. Thank you for this moment of being together. Thank you for all of you, you who, who, who are gathered here. Thank you for all those who contributed. Thank you for Mike for offering his uh, technical wisdom. Thank you to the members of MCC in New York who um, commissioned this music specially for these services and wrote it themselves. Thank you to Cecilia to being with us around the globe at every, in every time zone and really being the, the, an example of this commitment of, of community, of global community. God bless you. Thank you to Axel and Mario for your support and thank you for everyone in your place for making a difference for yourself and for others. God bless you.